All right, let's get started. Happy, what day is it? Oh man, I've been on a streak with these and I totally forgot what day it is. Thursday? Happy Thursday, everybody. How's everyone doing? Who's ready for Crash or Wake today? I'm ready for Crash or Wake today. So I kind of have a plan. I came up with a plan for Crash or Wake. It's a little slippy, but it's what it's, you know? So first we're gonna clear through this gym, uh, like the gym trainers. There's some scary stuff in this gym and I, I kind of have a plan, sorta, but it's not the best plan. So as you can see here, one of the scary things about this uh, gym is that it is perma-rain in here. Super scary. Okay, so here's the plan for Crasher Wake. So Crasher Wake has a Quagsire, a Gyarados, a Polyrath, a Ludicolo, a Sharpedo, and a Floatzel. So the idea here is to set up Belly Drum with Polyrath. Reason for this is that um, Polyrath has Water Absorb. So once we get rid of Ludicolo and Sharpedo, there's very little that can hit Polyrath, and we can also just gain back a lot of HP with Drain Punch. So our Pokemon that we're gonna use are an Umbreon, Milo, we want Blissey here, we want Polyrath, obviously. So we'll have to get the uh, the Water Stone, unless we already have one, I don't know. And then we want Lepra and Altaria as backup, potentially. Although, now that I know that the rain doesn't come back, it's almost like maybe I should bring someone else, you know, has Swift Swim or something. But I think, honestly, actually, let's bring Breloom for CB. We could even do Scarf stuff. CB, SB. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna lead with Umbreon. We're gonna set up a sunny day to immediately get rid of the rain so that the Quagsire hits a very weak waterfall. We're gonna growl it a couple times, you know, however I feel like doing it with this until we're in a good spot to switch to Unagi. Then Unagi is going to kill it. It's gonna be pre-burned. So Unagi is going to kill it with a couple moon blasts. Then we're going to that baits out the Ludicolo. So we're going to switch to Blissey and we're going to stall the Ludicolo out of Giga Drains or uh, Energy Balls. And then we're going to bring in Politoed. It can't really touch Politoed after that. We'll kill it quickly. That brings in Sharpedo, which has um, Zen Headbutt. We stall it out of Zen Headbutts by switching between Eclair and this, which will bait a water move. Then we switch back to Lollipop, Belly Drum, kill everything else. Lapras is there for Collateral. Same with Breloom. Not Collateral, I mean uh, Backup. How's Wake looking? I think Wake's looking pretty good. I think we got it. I think I got a good strat here. We'll see though. All right. So these are going to be our, our guys. What do I need to do? Do I need to do anything? No, I just need to teach them some moves. Oh, we might need to get a water stone, but I don't think so. All right, so we can immediately evolve this Polyrath here. My Wrath moveset for Gyarados once was Toxic, Protect, Growl, and Rock Tomb. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, the Gyarados is kind of scary. But the good thing is that the Gyarados can do basically nothing to Polyrath, despite this Polyrath being <laughs> terrible. We're gonna teach it Rock Slide. Just got Belly Drum. We're gonna teach it Drain Punch. And we're gonna teach it Poison Jab, which I believe we picked up. All right, great. Okay, so we actually want Growl on this Umbreon. We want Growl, Wish, and Return instead of Crunch. And I'll explain why in a second. That's a little over cautious, but it's okay. Get rid of Moonlight. So the reason I, I ideally want to have Moonlight here instead of Wish, but I can't get rid of Wish um, because then Umbreon can't learn it because it's technically an EV move. See, we can get Moonlight back if we want. We are going to teach it Return though, uh, instead of Crunch. Okay, Milo, what do you get? Moonblast, Scald is kind of useless. Hypnosis and Recover. That's not terrible. Can you learn anything else that would be better though? Ah, you learned Tickle. It's really good. I'm gonna teach you Tickle. That's really, really useful. Tickle, hell yeah. I think it's better than Hypnosis here for sure. Okay, Blissey is gonna be a little cheeky, but we are gonna teach it Minimize. And I will also explain why in a second for that as well. So on Blissey, we want Sunny Day, Captivate, Soft Boiled, and Minimize. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, good job, Blissey. I think I think Sunny Day is ideal here. Okay, Polyrath, we gave everything that we needed. Still water absorb, belly drum rock side. Yep, 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 you guys are all good. So Lapra, did you know Lapras can learn Dragon Dance? Cause that's what we're gonna teach it. Oh wait, actually, actually maybe, maybe not. Maybe it can't learn it yet. I thought the level cap was higher, I think. Oh no, Dragon Dance at 43, okay, yeah. So this is gonna be kind of like a last ditch effort, like if everything else goes poorly. Let's quickly go get Zen Headbutt on that guy. So basically Lapras is a contingency plan here in case something goes poorly. All right, we're gonna go over here. Basically every one of Crasher Wake's Pokemon has an ice type move. So grass types are not as great as you think they might be. All right, and then we can do Toxic here on the Lapras as also a last ditch effort kind of thing. I think we're good to go. Let's do it. 
All right. Okay, Crasher Wake, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, first up. All right, so it is Perma Rain, but we're gonna immediately get rid of that with Sunny Day. We add speed, that's good. Aqua Tail. And now does nothing. It's not nothing. It's actually a lot of damage, but that's okay. Okay. Next step is we're gonna growl, because why not? It's gonna start going for earthquake here, yeah. Okay. So crit still does a lot. Okay, so we're gonna wish here. Theoretically, stall this out of Earthquake PP, but yeah, I think honestly, like we're dead to a crit there, or we're dead to a crit here. But I need to return once, and the reason I need to return here is because uh, Unagi Moonblast doesn't kill in two shots, and if we miss out on that kill, then Crasher Wake will heal, and we do not want it to heal here because we actually want it to intentionally heal when the Ludicolo is wasting its Energy Ball PP. Um, because it has life orb. The problem is I am at risk to a crit here, I think. And honestly, maybe it would have made sense to have a levitate person spe like specifically for this. But I think we just go to Unagi here, Nen. We could always uh, pivot from Kish to Unagi, but I think we have to go Unagi here. I don't want to risk Umbreon. That's nice. Okay. Um, good. Good job. Good job, Unagi. Now let's move last once here. It's over half, so that's a pretty high roll. This thing has water absorbed, so Scald is not better now. But... Interesting. Okay. You do you, Quagsire. That's very generous of you. I guess we've only used six moon blasts, so there should be like, se should have used seven or eight earthquakes at this point. Crit. That sucks. Because now it's going to heal, so our, um, our Ludicolo strat is a little sketchier here. That's bad. We're also gonna run out of uh, moon blasts here pretty soon. That's okay though. Okay, it's out of moon blasts. It's good. I mean, it's out of earthquakes, but I. I think that we've got quite a few recovers, or it's got quite a few recovers left and we only have three. It should be out of recovers relatively soon though. The problem is what, we got like three more moon blasts. Here's one moon blast. Just get a crit. Just crit again, Milo. That's all we need from you now. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, with Moonblast. So this theoretically baits out um, Ludicolo because nothing else has a super effective move into this Milotic. So I would imagine that it's always Ludicolo here. Perfect. It's probably gonna fake out, but um, I don't wanna risk the fact that it's not. So we're gonna go straight to Blissey here. We're gonna take a good chunk from this Life Orb fake out, but that's okay. So the issue here Oh, never mind. Okay, we were right. Good. No spit after off. So the issue here is that it takes 10% damage. So the reason we didn't want Crasher Wake to heal is because he will potentially now kill himself before he runs out of energy balls. So he's used one energy ball, but I believe he's going to go for a Hydro Pump next since that's obviously more damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize. So that's why I have minimize is to stall it out of PP without it using Life Orb Chip. We just kind of got have to get a little lucky here. So it's used energy ball twice. It's a lot of damage. 
Archie's energy ball once, hydro pump once. So we just need him to miss a little bit. The scary thing is that energy ball can also get spadef drops. So this is not, this is like never an amazing play. We just need it to miss a couple times. I don't understand what we want. What we want is we want it to waste its energy ball PP so that I can bring in Poliwrath uh, safely. But it keeps <laughs> going for ice beam. And so Life Orb is now killing it. So Life Orb is gonna kill it on this next turn. So if it just goes for Ice Beam here, but if it goes for Energy Ball, we're screwed. But honestly, if this thing kills itself here, that's really bad because then Gyarados comes out and I have no idea what to do with Gyarados here. So I think I honestly do have to bring in Lollipop here and hope that it doesn't go for Energy Ball and it doesn't crit. I mean, if it, if it, if it doesn't crit, then it's okay. Nice, nice. That's bad. <laughs> okay, so now it's gonna go for energy ball. We basically need no crit and 50%. I think I have to go for it. Come on, come on, Lollipop. Good job, you Lollipop. Let's go. Oof. All right, now let's see if my plan was even correct about the Sharpedo. No, Polyrath comes out. Why? Why? Ah, if I had Belly Drum there. All right, Polyrath. It's probably got Hypnosis. I think it goes for Hypnosis here, but... Yeah, we don't have actually enough Recover for this. Uh, yeah. Don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch, please. Okay. Yeah, I think we Tickle here. All right. We Tickle? I think this way we're still playing around a crit but we might be able to be a little bit better about it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go to Quiche. Actually, can we just set up with... Um... No, we can't. Spore. We're scarfed here, otherwise I would also set up a Leech Seed. All we need to do is get a little bit lucky here. Stay asleep. Nice. Win a speed tie or don't crit. Nice. Okay. This this fight was super fun. <laughs> this isn't this did not go as at all how I wanted it to go. But you know, here here we are. I mean, the problem is now I believe Sharpedo comes out. So we actually have to go to Eclair here on the Zen Headbutt, what is presumably Zen Headbutt here. And now it's some more Stalin. So Zen Headbutt at one. Now presumably it always goes for a water move here. Waterfall. All right, so now we just do this until it runs out. So this should be its last Zen Headbutt. and this should be its last waterfall. So, now it should be safe to belly drum if I counted correctly. Phew! <laughs> I mean, it looks like we're still at risk to a crit here, actually. Wait, 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 is there any way to do that? No, no, I think I'm risk to a crit here. Oh man, it sees a crit or it sees a flinch. Nope, okay, 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 cool. This was such a bad fight. Please tell me that I take Drain Punch HP before... Oh no, no, it's not, it's not a rough skin. Okay, there we go. I guess the issue though is still that this is now gonna do a load of damage, huh? And then Gyarados comes in and can potentially crit kill me. Yeah, this was really stupid. Like I should have hit it with Eclair. Lapras has Toxic. I'm just trying to think if there's a way to not play around another crit. How much does a crit from Gyarados Crunch do? Gyarados crit goes 80. Okay, so Crunch doesn't kill. All right, Lollipop, I need you to hit this rock slide. I know I've asked a lot of you. 
I know I've asked a lot of you and you've been wonderful so far. You really have. I really need you to hit this rock slide, buddy. Okay. Okay, I think we won, but I am not happy about this. <laughs> this was very, very bad. This is like all around, all around terrible. So this Floatzel can crunch me here and a crunch will kill. So I know this is a little bit ridiculous, but I want to go to Eclair here. <laughs> That's weird. Good thing I didn't switch to, uh, what's his name? Wait, that was stupid. That's That's just risking a crit. Oh no, no. Okay. That was really dumb though. <clears throat> So now it's going for random moves, I guess. So I think based on what Drew said, which is good to know, good information here, is that if it um, if it can't use the move that would be the highest amount of damage, then it does a random move. So because this guy sees that Aqua Tail is the highest amount of damage, actually, no, sorry, Ice Punch is the highest. What, what am I talking about? Sorry, ignore me. Yeah, Ice Punch would be, sorry, sorry, ignore me. But I, I think that might be true. What is this? Does this have life orb? Oh, look at that. <laughs> cool. That's Crash Awake defeated. That was nuts. <laughs> I don't think I deserved that. I was very, very unhappy with that performance. That was trash. I got very lucky there. Again, I don't know why it went Polyrath. I guess it saw the Hypnosis Psychic, maybe? The Psychic type Hypnosis. That was a 42 minute battle. Yeah, okay, so let me let me just like try and learn from my mistakes here. So the first thing that I did wrong was I think I grossly underestimated how strong the Quagsire was. I think honestly, after setting up the sunny day with Eclair, I don't know, maybe I probably should have gone directly into Inagi and started tickling and then switched to Oyster. And I think Oyster can learn Growl or something. Uh, so there was an issue there. Then. The Ludicolo was garbage, but needed to rethink that too, because I didn't realize that if it ran out of PP from Hydro Pump, it would just go random. So that was kind of sketchy. But honestly, I think the thing that screwed me over was the Ludicolo not being able to Hyper Potion. So we had to we had to play around some crits that I definitely didn't want to play around. My guess is that the only reason that the Polyrath came out instead is because it saw Psychic type hypnosis. That would be my guess. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe I should test that a couple more times here, but we're learning as we go. It was deathless though, so that's cool. So we're back to badges equal deaths. <laughs> I think next time we want, definitely want to see if we can fit a levitator onto the team. We are more than halfway through the game, kind of. Okay, so when do I fight this, uh, fight the rival? Is it like right when I get to whatever? At the end of 210 North, right before Celestic City. It's at the end of Route 210 North. All right, Psyduck. Go nuts, buddy. Okay, so we have to fight that lady. So this is the lady. All right. What's up? Agron looks so weird. Oh, no. Well, whatever. Uh, That's okay. So still do a good amount of damage, yeah? Well, not really. All right, presumably this goes for Earthquake, so we can just go to Pelipper here. Oh wait, we're not faster. It was supposed to be Choice Scarf. Totally forgot about that. Uh, this Pelipper is too slow. Do we survive a Seed Bomb here? Yes, we do. We always survive a Seed Bomb. Okay, that was lucky. But Monty, that was really dumb. Okay. We were safe to a crit there. I also didn't teach my Blissey anything. Sh I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is dumb. Yeah, I have no way to damage this thing. That was dumb. We might just have to stall it out. I mean, we can eventually just go to Umbreon, but Umbreon doesn't have crunch. This was stupid. I can just stall this out of PP. Oh my God. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. Shh. <laughs> All right. Might need to take a break here, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. How are you not out of Scald PP yet? What the hell? Uh, wish, turn, wish, return. Okay. Man, that was annoying. Wow, Brick Break doesn't one shot. Milo really trying to uh, kill itself, or I'm trying to kill it to make it another water type that goes down, huh? 
I just, I don't know what the Probo Pass knows. So if it knows or like a non-special move, then Blissey is screwed, right? Yeah, Earthquake Blissey though could kind of work. But I think, I think it's Machamp here. So I think we can start Politoed and just kill the Politoed with uh, Breloom here. Seed Bomb, nah. We don't kill, but we do outspeed this, presumably. So we can just mock punch it. Or I mean, a uh, seed bomb close combat it. Okay. So then that baits out presumably the Zatu, which we can then pretty easily kill with Umbreon. Pincher, Pincher solos, or Pincher is walled by Chorizo, presumably. Could have Sword Stance, I guess. And then Megahorn, it gets kind of scary. But I feel like we can probably just kill it with a single fly. And then Robopass is walled by what? Machamp, I think. I think Machamp does a pretty good job into Probo Pass. I just have no idea what it could know. It could have Power Gem, it could have Flash Cannon, it could have Earthquake, Earth Power, but I think, I think this is probably fine anyways, and we outspeed it, and then we can just Brick Break, Machamp, Brick Break, probably kills this, right? Okay, so we'll bring Machamp here, and then the last one, Inter, Probo Pass, and Zatu. So Zatu, is swallowed by Umbreon. Okay, so obviously, so these five should take care of everything. Actually, I mean, I don't know if Blissey is good into anything, but that should be okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. Politoed. Presumably we just outspeed this and kill it with Seed Bomb here. Nice. Because we have Choice Band. So that takes care of that. I Politoed. What a cute little Pokemon. What an adorable little Pokemon that Politoed is. Excatu. So theoretically, this is um, gonna be a... Okay, so we're gonna go here. Hello, TJ. Air Slash. Okay, so it probably doesn't have Drill Pack. That's 30 damage. But with Lefties, we're fine. I presume we don't outspeed here, but we're gonna go for a Wish. Ah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, we just gotta kill this as quickly as possible. Um, this should bait out Pinsir after this, though. Let's let's get a sunny day off. Um, I don't like this. Eclair, buddy. All right, I think we gotta go to Blissey now, then, and hope that it doesn't have a physical move. We could stall out of confusion, I guess. We really have to. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like it only has Psychic. As a crit. <laughs> yeah, Spadef drop. That's fine. I want to set up a sunny day here. So I should have done that before minimize. The Spadef drop is not a big deal though. Unless it gets a crit again. Okay. So it's not going for Confuse Ray for some reason. That's fine though. Oh, uh, I didn't give leftovers to um, Glysaur. Whoops. Interesting. It got bored. It was like, all right, fine. Screw you. Uh, presumably it goes for close combat here. I guess it could also go for Megahorn. I think either way we go to, um, we go to Glysaur here. Okay, nice. Thank you. That was generous. I think Megahorn crit there is still like a load of damage, but not much I can do about it. Nice. Okay, we were totally fine though. I don't think Megahorn crit kills. x Catu again. This big old dingus. All right, fine. Back to the well. Just got Probo Pass left. So annoying. Zatu, I will stall you out if I have to. I don't want to, but I freaking will. I'm sick of this, so we're just gonna crunch it. Nice, nice, don't flinch. Okay, you did crit, but just don't flinch. Are you f <sighs> Come on, Blissey, just do this. Umbreon's totally useless now though, that's cool. Yeah, Zatu is being a real big butt. My God, man. Just hit two of these. Okay. Thank you. Zatu, I hate you. I hate you and everything you stand for. So it got a bunch of crits, got the flinch, got the spades drop, got everything, man. Okay. So now I have no idea what Probo Pass is going for. I think we can switch to Machamp, and if it goes for like Power Gem, then it's got nothing for Blissey. But I don't think it has anything for Machamp either. Oh, did I not level this up to level 44? <laughs> Whoopsies. Oopsie doopsie. Let's hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Okay, well, we are dead to a crit now. Wow, I'm playing f terribly. I'm ending this after this. <laughs> Brick Brick still kills this though.
Okay, all right. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so the next thing is a black belt. But, you know, I think, I think I've kind of gotten to my max here. I think uh, that crash or wake fight kind of drained me and I'm playing pretty poorly and I'm not having as much fun as I want to be having, unfortunately. So I think we'll probably just end it for the day because we are very close to just, you know, pissing the runaway. Um, I got really lucky that the Milo didn't get killed by that grass knot. Um, lots of sloppy plays. Should have leveled these all up to level 44. So let's, um, let's slow our roll here. Too many mistakes. It's going to come and bite me in the ass pretty soon here. Uh, we'll do all that fun stuff next. We'll do these last couple rival or last couple uh, random trainer fights, all that stuff. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll do it.